Welcome, Welcome back, back Jags. Jags. We are Jag TV and we will be here all year to make sure you know what's happening on campus and in our community. Up first, we talk about a major policy that's affecting everyone right now. Next, we show you some highlights from Meet the Jags. Finally, some of our crew take us on a tour of the campus. This, this is, is Jag, Jag TV. TV. of the year will be this Wednesday. All the action starts at 7 p.m. in the gym. The Jags will be taking on the Brandeis Broncos this weekend in the annual peanut butter bowl at Ferris Stadium. Remember, if you come out to the game, you need to bring a jar of peanut butter to support Snack Pack for Kids in San Antonio. Monday, September 3rd is the Labor Day holiday, so that's one last chance to sleep in on a weekday. Finally, orchestra will host its first concert of the year on Thursday, September 6th, beginning at 6 p.m. Don't even try hiding your gum or that charger. I see them and I need both. But really, here's everything you need to know about the clear backpack policy. As last year came to an end, NEISD set in place a clear backpack policy in response to this nationwide concern for in-school safety. We checked in with Mr. Melbrick to see how this policy is affecting our campus. And that's a big change, it's a big difference. And I know a lot of kids feel the privacy issue and what they carry around and so forth. I totally understand that. Um, but again, when you look at the overall picture as to why, it's to make sure that people aren't bringing on something that's gonna really severely hurt people. So it's just a step, it's one step. It's not gonna cure it, but it's one step. Administration has a plan in place for students who show up without a clear backpack. Well, we have these name tags that all of us have, and what we're going to do is if they come in with a regular bag, we're going to take the bag, and we're going to put a name on it, and put it in the receiving room, and at the end of the day, they can pick it up. Um, so we have a, a system. Now, the first couple of days of school, we're going to have to work with y'all. But after that, we're going to be real strict on it and say, you got to be clear. And I know there'll be challenges. There'll be, <laughs> there'll be different things coming in but we'll deal with them one at a time. But it's really a simple process. It's clear, it has to be a bag that's not obstructed by anything. So we'll be able to see, to make sure there's not a weapon or some sort of um, item that can hurt somebody. Students and visitors on the campus will also notice the new buzzer system. Anyone coming to the campus during the day will need to be buzzed in after being identified. All campus exterior doors will also be locked. So the idea is to lock it down so that people just can't come and go freely and get access to where the kids are. Students will notice the on-campus safety measures, but they need to know that the district is also monitoring their activity off-campus and online as well. The safety concerns are coming from the media as far as the active shooters. Uh, that's priority uh, one for all the changes in the security because of the accessibility that are at schools now with it being so open and being so um, volatile that we want to make sure that everybody is safe while they're here because they, we feel this is the safest place that kids could come to and, and should not have to worry about someone coming in with some sort of weapon and, and causing harm. There's, there's several steps they're taking. Uh, the biggest one, and I think the most influential one, is that they have contracted with an outside organization to monitor social media. So they're looking at social media sites to see if there's anything out there that's going to indicate if something is going to be threatening or something going to be um, possible harm to other kids on campus. And then they contact Northeast Police. Northeast Police then goes out to the house. They talk to the parent, they talk to the student, they ask if there's any weapons in the house. So that's step one, is that they're going to monitor social media. Campus administration knows that it will take some time for students to adjust to these changes and is ready to answer any questions going forward. For Jag TV, this is Aldara Velasquez. Fans and families turned out for the 11th annual Meet the Jags to welcome all the Jag athletes and organizations. Here's some of the highlights.
Hosting over 3,000 students, the transition from middle school to high school is intimidating for incoming freshmen. Aldara and Colby give us a quick tour of the campus. Hey guys, welcome back to Johnson. So today we're going to be giving you guys a really quick tour of the main things in Johnson so you don't get lost. Let's go. So, to my right is the Welcome Center where you can pick up your lunch and pick up different forms that we have throughout the year. And then to my left is the band hall where band practices, orchestra, theater, and a couple of other classes down there. This is the A wing of the first floor. Basically, in here are probably your most important things. Um, to my left is the nurse. If you get hurt, if your head hurts, if you fall, whatever. Um, the nurse is right here. And then to my right is the attendance office. So if you're here late, if you leave a day, if you have to leave a note, whatever, it's right here. And right now it's closed because there's no one here, obviously. But okay. And then over here is the main office. Basically, we have you know your principal, your vice principals, assistant principals, and the secretaries. The counselor's office is right here. And basically, if you need a schedule change, if you need to talk to somebody, or if you need any help, even your uh, VOE form. They're all in here, so you just have to go in and ask. And that's it for the A call. Now let's go up the stairs. To the right is the library, where you can check out books. You can study there. It's going to be open before and after school and during lunch. It also has the den, which is like a little cafe. You can order coffee and snacks, and that's open before school. This is the upper foyer. That over here is the dad shop. Basically, when it's homecoming, you can buy your tickets there, and also they have t-shirts, and they have merch. <laughs> candy. There's like they have candy, candy sometimes. Yeah. That's it. So. <laughs> We have a bunch of different serving lines to choose from, like Chinese, make your own. Um, so yeah, you have a bunch of options. And then you can also, you don't just have to sit in there, you can sit outside on these benches, you can sit over there. There's a bunch of seating for you, so like, if you want some fresh air, you can come outside. And then in the mornings, this little building right here is the to-go breakfast line. You can come out here and it's really quick and then you can get to class on time and not get dirty slept. We're going into the athletic building to see what's going on over there. Let's go. Okay, so basically here are all our trophies because we're sister so amazing. <laughs> there's, uh, there's a dance room. We can just like zoom in really quickly because there's people over here. Okay, so now let's just keep going over here. Over there is the girls' locker room. Um, okay, this is the girls' coaches. I don't know what's over here. You should have done this part. <laughs> okay, this is the training room in case you ever get hurt, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the weight room in case you know you want to pull up some weights. And these are the boys' coaches. Um, and this is the boys' locker room. <laughs> and then oh, the portables. Let's go. Oh yeah. Out here. Okay, and then out here, right there, is portable number two, and over here is portable number one. So that concludes our Johnson tour. Um, we hope you guys like it here. If you want to see us, tell your teacher, and we'll be in your <laughs> class every flex. <laughs> okay, bye guys. Bye. We're gonna do this. Good luck on the new school year. See, see you, you next time, time Jags. Jags. Click play and then hurry up and move your hand. Yeah. Are we gonna stop it and then do another clip? Hiding your gum or that charge. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't even. <laughs> do you want me to say it? Yeah. Don't even try hiding your gum or the. Oh my god. <laughs> try hiding your gum or that charger. I can see them and I need both. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. Why is that so funny?
Ano nami? I don't know. <laughs>